welcome to the very first episode of our Realm of Magic series. I'm so excited to begin this episode and begin the series with you guys. If you're new to my channel, make sure you hit that subscribe button and give this video a big thumbs up. And don't forget to turn on your notifications so you never miss one of my videos. So for those who are not familiar, so this is connected with my Royal Family series and it's actually because two of the families in our Royal Family series did disappear. And one of those families was the, well, she's married to the heir to the throne, to the Prince of Willow Creek. So her name is Princess Corinne or Lady Corinne technically. So she told the King of Brindleton Bay, which is where her family is from, she told the King that she would come with him to help find her family. So that led them to Glimmerbrook, the royal family of Glimmerbrook, who we will be meeting in this in this series, and we'll be spending a lot of time with in the series as well. And then in the last episode, they discovered the realm of magic, the portal. So the emperor has known all about the realm and showed them the portal and was about to tell them their big kingdom secret. So you guys are gonna hear all about that in this episode because this is gonna be a lot of introductions and just a lot of cool things and we're gonna discover a lot of cool things so it'll be a lot of fun so if you're looking forward to this video give this video a big thumbs up hit that like button and let's go ahead and play the sims 4 realm of magic Okay, so if you did see the 100th episode of the Royal Family, you know that King Jared of Brindleton Bay, Princess Corinne, and King Jared's son, Prince James, they actually went first to Selva Dorada because they had a lead leading leading them to the Royal Family of Selva Dorada, and then they ended up being led to the Royal Family of Glimmerbook or Grand Chi. So they are here now, and actually Prince James went back to Brindleton Bay and back to Willow Creek to tell everyone and give them an update of what's going on like what they found, like they met these two royal families, but they have to keep it a secret. So like they're still trying to stay under the radar and all that stuff too. So they went back and then Jared and Corinne are going to continue with their mission on trying to find this. So they have not actually entered the, the realm yet through the portal because in the last episode, you guys saw them at the portal at like the gates to the realm. So they never actually entered because they wanted to hear all the information first because this is Emperor Zhao. So he is the Emperor emperor of the of Glimmerbrook of this kingdom. So, and people were asking too, if you're not familiar what an emperor is, it's the Asian equivalent to a king. So that's why he's called emperor because I, I saw a comment about that. Um, so for the emperor, so he's giving them as much information as he can because Corinne's family is missing and then their neighbors, another family that she was close with growing up also is missing. So it was the Baron's family, Baron Graham and his family of Brindleton Bay. And then her family is the Duke and Duchess of Brindleton Bay. So it was her parents, both her parents, Lily and Victor, and it was her sibling. She has an older brother, Wyatt, a younger brother, a younger sister, Marjorie, and then she has another younger brother um, named Nathaniel. So those are all the Sims that are missing. And so she was super worried about it. So basically the king had told them, well, like one, you guys can stay here, like make yourself at home. This is going to be a long journey. So we want to make sure you're comfortable. We want to make sure we can accommodate you guys as much as possible. Okay, so I brought Ember Jow back because because basically he was telling them. So in the last episode, they did find out because uh, uh, Corinne, she showed the emperor a picture of her family and the emperor actually knows her mother. He was engaged to marry her mother when they were young and it was an arranged marriage and she was not happy with it, but he was actually in love with her. She was his first love. So then she found out that, oh gosh, Corinne's braid keeps like going into her back. So just ignore that, that's a glitch. Um, so they found out that her mother was engaged to marry the emperor and she ended up running away with her father Victor so she because she was actually in love with him and the emperor was really upset about it and never actually really got over her but he is actually married to Empress Mei Lin. Oh gosh, I don't know what's happening. I think he's trying to make a joke or something. So he's actually married to Empress Mei Lin. So they're like close but like not as close because I think he never really got over Corinne's mother but he definitely wants to help them find her. So that's why he's telling them all of this top secret information and basically saying, so this, I did not tell you guys in the last episode so, or in the episode 100 of the Royal Family for those of you who watched it. So those are you guys who are new. So I'm trying to like give all the new information as much as possible. Okay, so Ember Zhao is telling them that the magical realm is a very dangerous place. He once tampered with magic and he vowed never to go back because he almost had to risk his life and it was just an extremely dangerous situation. So he is terrified to go back, which is why they haven't been able to find out what's going on because like her family decided 
disappeared and that other family disappeared, but families have actually been disappearing for a very long time. And Abuja has tried to stop it, but he doesn't know how, especially since he's scared to go into the realm and they don't want to tell people about it either. So that's what kind of the issue with everything is. So he has told them that there is an evil wizard and she's one of the most powerful in the realm. She's the sage of mischief magic. So they actually, if they want help, they need to go and find the sage of untamed magic. So he's kind of giving them all this information, debriefing them of what's going on. They have no idea anything about wizards or witches or anything like that. So they don't know what's going on and they have absolutely no idea what to expect. So I think he's just telling them as much as he can because he definitely just wants to like make sure they're safe and make sure they know as much as possible. But it's kind of hard to tell them all these things when you can't actually show them anything because he refuses to actually go into the realm. So basically he's sending King Jared and Corinne to go by themselves. I actually debated even having just Corinne go, but I think Jared is also like on this mission to find the noble families of his kingdom because that's like, he's the king. So that's what he is, that's his responsibility if they go missing. And that would be a huge thing if they ended up disappearing and if he actually didn't try to help them with anything too. So that's kind of what the issue is. Okay, so he's preparing them. They're kind of getting all of their stuff together. Also, if you do want to see the palace of, <laughs> Okay, so this is the Palace of Glimmerbrook, you guys. So, and for those of you who are not familiar, so Guanxi is actually a form, so that's what the natives call Glimmerbrook because that's actually a form of Glimmerbrook in Mandarin. So I, that's why it's called that. And that's actually the royal family of Glimmerbrook's last names. So this is Emperor Zhao. So he's the emperor. This is Empress Mei Lin. So you guys can see her too. And yes, this, their palace is underground. And that is because it is a 40 by 30 lot. There was only so much you could do. So I actually downloaded this on the gallery and I think it's called like Asian temple with a cave or something like that. I'm pretty sure that's the title of it, but it's still very cool. I think some things went missing when I like put it in this or something like that. I don't know, it's a little bit strange, but then you go to here. So this is the entrance and this is the throne room. And then down here is what leads you to the biggest staircase I've ever seen in my life, the longest staircase. But anyway, so this is the downstairs area. So this is their little banquet hall. This right here is, oh, this is another little, little social gathering area. We have like their, it's like almost like a little cafe they have, which is kind of interesting, I think. And then we have right here, like their family room. And then here's a bathroom. This right here is the office. And then here's another little family eating area with the kitchen. And then right here is like a formal like meeting area, but also where they can serve like dinners and stuff as well. So I thought that was also very, very cool. Oh, whoa, guys, that's not supposed to be there. Um, I'm going to do Delete that. I don't know. Whoa. Okay. I'll, I'll fix that a little bit later. I don't know why that's like that. But then down here on the lowest bedroom or lowest floor is all of the bedrooms. So they actually have like the bedrooms for King Jared and for Princess Corinne right now. This is the master bedroom right here. I actually use some of the Realm of Magic stuff too, which is really cool. This is actually custom content. So we have the different rooms for the kids. So this right here is Empress Mei Lin, who's at the office right now. So she wants to be involved in all of the politics and all of the issues going on with the kingdom, but Emperor Zhao hasn't really let her too much. He kind of keeps a lot of things secret from her. So that's kind of frustrating for her. And then they're at school right now, but Princess Araminta, she's actually the older one, so I don't know why her picture is second, but Princess Araminta is the heir to the throne. So she's actually twin sisters with Princess Anya. So this is Princess Anya right here. So they're twins. Princess Anya and Princess Araminta do not get along at all. They are like, arch enemies. Princess Anya hates her because she's younger by like a few minutes and like missed out on the throne. So she's like on the verge of being evil. Princess Araminta has the good personality trait. And then right here we have little Prince Takashi. So he's super cute. He's super energized and silly. So he's the younger one and he's dancing with his mother right now, which is really, really cute. You guys, this is actually adorable. And I love this so, so much. So it is now 1 p.m. on a Wednesday. So they've been told all of this stuff. So they've actually been here for a few days just kind of preparing for everything and Burjao is kind of trying to like 
pack everything for them, like everything they're going to need. So we are going to have them go here. So last time I kind of did like one of those point of view things so you guys could see. And I kind of want to do it again because it was at nighttime. I really love being able to see from their point of view, but it was just really dark when we did do that last time. So you guys can actually see it. I'm going to do it from Emperor Zhao's point of view because he doesn't walk like that. Dude, honestly, this is the longest staircase ever, you guys. It's so long. Okay, so I hope it doesn't make anyone different. Dizzy. Let me know if it does in the comments and I'll stop, but I just think it's like a really, really cool thing that you can do. So that's why I love it so much. Oh, whoa, whoa, whoa. Okay, I didn't actually want to do this from King Jared's point of view. I wanted to do it from Emperor Zhao because he walks faster than they do, which is really nice. Okay, and then there's just like some paparazzi outside. So that's kind of irritating. I don't have, I, so I have celebrity levels on like high for the other kings and queens of my other kingdoms, but I don't have it. Oh my gosh, is this paparazzi guy going to run in front of us? That is really actually kind of irritating, but it's okay. It's okay. Okay. So yeah, I do have the paparazzi on for the other kingdoms. I don't have it for the royal family of Glimmerbrook, and I don't have it for the royal family of Salvadorada too, because I have a royal family for them, because they also try to stay hidden in other, under the radar. So hopefully if Corinne's able to solve this mystery, then we will be able to have all the kings and queens meet of all the kingdoms, and then everyone's going to be able to know about them because that'll be a lot of fun because I want them to meet all of our other royal families because it's just going to be so much fun, you guys. I am planning on having the second season of the Meet the Royals in October, the first week in October, I'm hoping. But I am going to be in LA during that week, so it might end up being the second week of October. So just so you guys know. Okay, so we are here at the realm. <laughs> There's this plane over there with uh, one of those like sign things, which is a little bit distracting, but that is okay. So right here we are at the portal. So Ember Zhao has definitely given them as much information as he can. So this is kind of his big send off for Corinne and for Prince or for King Jared. So it's going to be huge thing. Okay, so he's like, all right, bye. <laughs> like, good luck in there. We're going to travel to the realm of magic. You guys, I've never actually been here before. So I'm super, super excited. So we are going to go travel with King Jared to the magic realm, you guys. Okay. Oh my gosh, I'm so excited to see this, you guys. Uh, okay, Corinne's going in. Corinne's going in. She just entered. Okay, yes, the swirling vortex appears to lead to a realm beyond your own reality. Do you dare cross this threshold? Yes, enter the portal. Okay, you guys, we're going in. Okay, you guys, we're here at the magical realm. Oh my god. <gasps> okay, I just replaced this lot because it was ugly. Um, so I replaced it with something from the gallery. But oh my god, I haven't actually gotten the chance to take a look at everything. This is amazing. I know I'm so late in the game, like Magic Realm has been out for quite a while. So I am a little bit late, but like, I'm just so excited. I wanted to take the time to do this and figure things out before I actually like did this let's play. So I'm just so excited you guys. Okay. So Corinne and King Jared, they are here at the Magic Realm headquarters, or I keep, I keep saying Magic Realm, I know it's Realm of Magic, but I, Magic Realm's easier to say. So I am here and it's so, it's so pretty, you guys. I love this, look at the moon. Oh my God, look at the moon and the shooting stars. Oh my God, you guys, this is really cool. Okay, so we are here. We need to find, so the first thing that Emperor Zhao said to do was to find the Sage of Untamed Magic. So apparently he's pretty easy to find. He's kind of really well known. So maybe they should just start asking people if they know him. So why don't we go ahead and ask her? So let's do a friendly introduction. Oh yeah, and there's some like spellcasters here too, you guys. This is so cool. Okay, so Corinne. You need to say, have you seen the sage anywhere? I guess that's about day. Um, I don't know like a lot of these Sims, you guys. I was kind of expecting to see people that I knew a little bit more, um, but I don't. So we need to make sure, oh, I'm pretty sure he's from Sulani. Oh gosh, oh, are they gonna make some of our random townies like, Spellcasters now? Ah, oh, shoot. Okay, well, that's not exactly what we want, but that's fine. Do we actually know anybody here? I don't think we do, which is okay. So she didn't, she said to go inside to the headquarters. So, oh, and there's someone here. Oh, Diego Ward. Oh my gosh. Okay, so Diego Ward is actually Corinne's mother-in-law, Queen Cora. Queen Cora's ex-boyfriend's son. <laughs> 
<laughs> so that's who that is, Diego Ward. So that's kind of funny. Um, so maybe we should do a friendly introduction and ask him to. Okay, yeah, I don't actually know as many people as I thought I would here. So basically the goal here is to find the Sage of Unte Magic because he said he will help them and that they are actually going to need to play around with magic to be able to help their families. So that's why they need to find the Sage of Unte Magic because apparently he's going to help them and I'm pretty sure he should be in the HQ somewhere. Oh guys, I found him. Okay, I found him. He is right here. So I did replace the sages too, just in case you guys are wondering. So no more Morgan Ember guy. I didn't want that. So this is Amor Amoric. I hope I'm pronouncing that right. One die you. So he is the Sage of Untamed Magic, you guys. We just found him. Okay, so we have to have them introduce themselves. So you both need to do a friendly introduction and you need to try, try to get him in private so you can talk to him because this is kind of like serious business you're about to talk about. So you need to make sure Corinne and King Jared introduce themselves to him. Okay, so they're both talking to him. This woman needs to leave. Um, so why don't we go ahead and make her leave because this is kind of an important conversation here. And then can you actually, oh, it's not like a door or like blocked off area or anything. So did you introduce yourself? Okay guys, this is so exciting. Okay, so they are talking to the Sage of Untamed Magic. I don't actually know how this works. And so I guess they should probably just tell him the situation, tell him that they were sent here by Emperor Zhao because he is, he knows him pretty well. So he had helped him, he had helped Emperor Zhao when Emperor Zhao was in the realm and for some reason trying to use magic and they don't know why quite yet because Everjow didn't really tell them. So they're going to tell him that they know him and I feel like that kind of gets them like a little bit more in. Also, we're just gonna pretend that they're alone and that this person isn't randomly here. So they're talking to him and so I guess they need to ask him how to use magic because that is important and they were told that they need to learn magic. Oh, okay. Learning the magical arts is a wonderful and perilous journey. Are you sure you're prepared to become a spellcaster? <gasps> oh, okay. So I didn't actually realize Corinne was going to just get the option to become a spellcaster already. So I guess if anything, I feel like Corinne should be the one to be a spellcaster. I don't think King Jared needs to become a spellcaster too. I think Corinne is the one who's gonna be like, I can do this. Like. I know what to do. Like, I, I mean, even though she really doesn't, but she wants to help her family. She's so determined to help her family. So I feel like that's gonna definitely help her a lot. So yes, I was born ready. Okay, and oh, in order to bestow the gift of magic upon you, I will need seven magical moats. I have granted you moat sight in order to see and retrieve them. Search the realm for moats and return to me quickly before the spell wears off. Oh, okay. All right, so we need to find moats. It, like moat, like the rivers around castles. Is that the kind of moat they're looking? Oh, these, wait, is that? No, 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 no. Okay, I don't know what I'm looking for, you guys. What's a moat? What is this? Is this it? This must be it. Collect moat, okay, all right, cool. Okay, so now Corinne is just going to be kind of like going around and collecting these little orb things. Okay, so we need seven of them. So that's two. This shouldn't be that hard to collect them actually. I don't actually know why it's just to collect all of these. There might be some, I'm assuming, on other, like the other islands, which I actually have not been to yet. Okay, so we have collected four. So she has two more, or now one more to collect. And then there is this one over here that I missed. So that's going to be the seventh one, you guys. Okay, so she, I need a, um, up her needs because I do that. Yeah, if you're new to my channel, I just like use cheats for their needs because I don't see any point and they're not relevant to the story at all. So I don't want to distract you guys by making them have to eat and sleep and all that stuff. So I just want to get through this. Okay, so she now has seven, you guys. Okay, so she needs to go back to the sage and tell him and let him know. But now we have seven. So she's gonna be getting to turn into a spellcaster, you guys, it's so exciting. Okay, so we have to go back to Sage Almeric, Am Amoric? I always thought it was Almeric. Did I, Almeric? Did I spell it wrong? Amoric. So do we just tell him that we have them now? Or like, what do you? Oh, turn in moats. Okay, I got it. All right, she's going to go turn it in, you guys, I'm so excited. Okay, so she's telling him that she has all of them now. And he's like, yes, okay, finally, okay. So I guess this is going to turn Corinne into a spellcaster, you guys, which is so cool because I was not actually expecting her to be able to do this so soon. So I'm so excited for her to be able to become a spellcaster. That's gonna be so cool. She's gonna be a princess. She's going to be the queen of Willow Creek and she's gonna be a spellcaster too, which is so cool. Okay, so she's turning them in. So I guess do we get to be a spell? Oh, <gasps> you guys. Oh my gosh, this is cool. Okay, this is so cool. Oh my God, Corinne's a spellcaster. 
spellcaster now, I think. I hear dramatic music. Princess Corinne is now a spellcaster. You can view her spellbook by opening her perks panel or by clicking on the button for this window. <gasps> oh my god, that's so cool. Okay, you guys. Oh my god, that's so exciting. Okay, so Corinne is now officially a spellcaster. So she's going to have to learn all this stuff. She still needs to learn how to use magic. So basically the end goal here would be, I think she's going to learn. And we haven't met the Sage of Mischief Magic yet. So when that day comes, when she faces her, the Sage of Mischief Magic is kind of living among everyone. So like not everyone really knows what she's been up to. So that's what like their goal is here. And they're being very careful not to kind of like let that loose because they don't want her to find out. They don't want her to find out that they're by basically like they're for her and to like defeat her. So that's what they need to do. And I'm assuming Corinne's gonna have to do some sort of duel or something and be able to like get like as strong as she can, like the strongest spellcaster so she can defeat the Sage of Mischief Magic so she can find her family. Okay, so I'm going to end this episode here. I hope you guys enjoyed our very first episode of the Realm of Magic series. And I'm so excited to continue the series with you guys. This is actually so much fun. So I'm going to be posting another Realm of Magic series episode in the, in the next few days. So you guys can look out for that. And then the first episode of season two of Meet the Roy of the Royal Families is going to be out in the beginning of October and then I'll post a few other videos in between then as well. So thank you guys so much for watching. Let me know what you think of the comments below. Don't forget to hit that like button if you enjoyed this video. Don't forget to hit that subscribe button and turn on your notifications if you have not already. And I will see you guys in the next video. Bye!